So I have a BF8A 8 horsepower Honda outboard and I've got water in the oil and um, this is basically the symptoms where it was smoking like a son of a bitch when I'd started up and um, eventually when I was doing my winterization I was running uh, fresh water through the system and noticed that my oil light started flickering and then when I drained the oil it was all milky and all that so <clears throat> definitely water in the oil so I figured I'd do a video on how I'm going to diagnose this thing and what am I going to do to repair it um, did a little research online but never saw any videos so I'm it I guess in any case I'm going to piece this thing together here we go all right so first of all um, I do recommend getting this it's the uh, shop manual it's not the owner's manual that comes with the engine it's the shop manual and it goes into all kinds of great detail regarding how to take it apart there's a few PDFs that I found that were online but I have to tell you the um, the text quality of the PDF scanning was was marginal and I wasn't happy with it and so um, I bought the book the pictures are so-so um, but uh, in any case um, I recommend that the other thing is uh, let's just go through what I have done so far so um, what I have let me get this light off it's kind of a pain um, <clears throat> I have uh, taken the intake manifold off here um, and uh, you know the carburetor and it's all one one kind of piece when it comes apart one of the things that I do when I when I kind of take my things apart is I put them into containers so that I know that the order I took them out and um, and uh, the order they're gonna go back so um, basically here's a container that houses all of my carburetor parts and hoses and um, and some of the bolts and then um, uh, other things that I've done on this thing so far is I've taken the um, I have taken the uh, the cover off the rear probably video is not great here but uh, in any case I've taken the cover off the rear for the, um, the valve cover and I'm just at the stage now and I figured this is probably worth videotaping so that's why I'm doing it um, I'm at the stage now where I'm trying to take the, the next level of uh, of parts off and um, so right here you'll see there's a seam I originally after I got all the bolts out from the uh, on the inside of the the, uh, the, uh, the casing on the inside here um, I tried frying this thing off and it's on tight as a son of a bitch basically it's a function of the corrosion so I did wedge a little bit of a, um, a very very small screwdriver tiny little thing into that hole and I just popped it with a um, a rubber mallet and it did break free and I'm, a, I'm about to take the rest of it apart but I figured this is a good point to start doing the video <clears throat> so um, other than that the one other thing that I'd recommend is that as you're taking these um, these bolts out of the rear um, to be able to take this this casing off you want to um, make sure you know which bolt goes into which hole so um, when I took them out I actually numbered them one two three four five six and then on the top of each bolt I actually have the numbers written on them I took a uh, you know just a marker so that's number one and you can see it's really long and so on and so forth so anyway I have the number on the top of each bolt so I know which way they go back in and then I, I numbered the, um, the spots as well so number one is up on the top here and so on and so forth so I know which one goes in so that's it I'm gonna pop this thing off here now and um, oh the other thing is that when I was pu pulling these top these bolts out of the um, this uh, casing the top bolts did have corrosion on or not corrosion but they had salt buildup whereas the bottom bolts when I pulled them out they were more um, coated in oil so um, definitely a reflection of head gasket issue the other thing that uh, I have read online is that this being the oil fill that sometimes this this tube here um, some light on it damn it um, this tube here is uh, the intake tube um, for water flow from the water pump you can see it down there that brass tube and that tube um, does fill up with um, uh, some corrosion in the rear I'm told but it was more sensitive to when this casing was a plastic casing so this is a metal casing and um, this casing can't come off and so one of the issues that I was told is that water coming up ends up breaking the seal in there and then it contaminates the oil intake area 
Um, again, less likely when it's metal than when it's plastic. I'll check it out anyway. The, thing, the reason I'm bringing that up is that in order to get this unit off, you can see there's some other bolts here um, down in the back. And those bolts on the right, just to the right of the yellow there, those bolts are too, small, too tight up against the casing of the, uh, of the, the swivel to, um, to be able to pull out. So basically the whole head has to pop up and out in order to, uh, to get access to it. So what I'm gonna start with, and I'm gonna start with this head gasket, which I, I have a strong suspicion is really the root of my issue. So next section of video, we'll, we'll take a look at what I find when I crack that thing open. Um, not necessarily intuitive is that there's a couple of these guide pins, one here, and then there's one on the other side on the top in the corner here. Um, where my finger is and um, those kind of prevent this case from just jiggling right off after the bolts are out like I said I did have to put a little little fine screwdriver in there and start prying and this side and then on the other side and um, so I got this up against a workbench it's a little hard to show but um, in any case uh, you do have to pry it a little bit and then work against those pins and then jiggle 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 and the other thing is that you do not need to take this exhaust um, piece off down below. The, um, the instructions in the book say to, um, to leave it all as one piece. So basically this can come right off. I did not take this off, but what I, one thing I did do, which is probably worth mentioning, is I did mark the section where the timing belt um, connects. And so I put a little dash on the point and then also a little circle to show the indent on either side just so the timing would be proper before I and I did that before I disconnected any of the bolts. It's worth mentioning as I'm prying this thing off um, there's this little guide pin here that um, is uh, kind of a you know obviously it helps get it put back together properly but um, it's an obstacle in kind of prying it off and on the other side um, Pry it apart here now at the base on both sides. Um, thing I'm struggling with now is down below the exhaust. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but um, you actually can see it probably better from this side. But I got my damn camera, camera connected. Um, I do have the all of the the um, these pins out now. You can see up the top here, and then the other one on the other side on the bottom. The thing I'm struggling with now is the um, the exhaust down below. These bolts are kind of just just hitting the casing a little bit as I try and jiggle the thing out here. You see there, and I think it's just actually the um, the exhaust what it attaches to. It sits in a little repository down below, and I think it's basically just got to get you know, kind of wrestled out of there. But again, the exhaust housing is intended to be staying on. It's not meant, there's a couple of bolts underneath here where my fingers are, but you're not supposed to take them off before dismantling this piece, so that's next. All right, so I, I, I did just jiggle. I jiggled this thing just, and I kind of lifted upwards while jiggling, and eventually you can see that exhaust piece is kind of heavily salted up. And it goes into a, uh, basically just goes into a metal aluminum hole down on the bottom. So there's my, there's my head or a good part of my head. Um, a lot of carbon. Um, I'm not sure what to make out of the, out of the um, uh, gasket because I did chew it up a little bit um, while I was dismantling. Sorry, excuse my video editing, but uh, I'm just grabbing a light, see if it helps. It does not really help that much. It's a little, almost too bright, but um, she's got a shitload of carbon buildup on them. Um, there's no, I don't see any signs of rust and I, I'm not so sure, I mean, maybe, Maybe the gasket here um, in the middle. I'm trying not to. You know, I guess the gasket in the middle here, you know, the question is, is it, or lack of gasket in the middle? 
question is, is it because of the gasket breaking off as I was pulling it apart on the main head, or, uh, or just what, you know? I mean, you can see it's pretty flimsy stuff. I mean, I only really kind of, I only worked it with the, with the screwdriver on this um, outer edge, but you can see there's a little bit of, you know, paper manifold, or paper um, gasket, rather. So I'll probably turn this thing so I can get a better light and angle on it, and we can have a better look at it. So this is the gasket, obviously. The rings around the uh, the main holes, yeah, they're good. Um, like I said, the very edges, I think, are probably compromised by me working it with a screwdriver to uh, pry the unit off. Um, I can't see any significant signs of, um, you know, like holes or anything like that in the thing that would have been an indication of the head gasket itself being bad. Um, again, there's some pieces that are left, left on the... Um, on this casing here as well. I mean, this is mostly just uh, small pieces of very thin material, very um, crusty. Um, so at the moment, I'm not sure that I have a good explanation on the um, on the leakage. Uh, I will say that down below here, where I pulled it out of the exhaust, there is a pile of um, of, of salt. You know, no real good cause for um, what that would be from other than just the exhaust kind of, you know, weeping and building up over time. Um, I'll clean that out, I'll vacuum that out. Um, again, you know, inside the, inside the piston heads, um, it's nothing obvious. I mean, I'm not an expert on what these are supposed to look like. Um, but uh, there's no salt holes or corrosion holes or anything like that that I can see. So, a um, little bit of a mystery at the moment. I'm not sure if I want to pull the remainder of the head all the way off here or not. Um, or whether I'm just going to reseat it with the head. So, anyway, that's, that's, that's where I am at the moment. Like I said, in order to get this, uh, this casing off of the oil to see whether it's leaking through this tube, the sealer on this tube, I'd have to pull the whole engine up and out, which isn't the biggest job in the world, but it's a pain. So.